My name is Sarmishta and I did not pay a bribe. Recently, I got my car to Bangalore and upon coming here, I realized that I had to pay a road tax or a lifetime tax to drive my car around in the city. I went to the RTO office and uh, what they told me was my, all my papers are correct but I don't have the purchase invoice of the car based on the basis of which they are supposed to calculate the tax. Now I told them clearly that it's a second hand car and it's like 13 years old and possibly I wouldn't have the uh, purchase invoice, the original purchase invoice for that matter of the car. To that their reply was very strange and something that I did not expect was that just sell the car. Why do you even bother carrying such a car around if you do not have the papers in order? I was really dazzled. I, I was surprised about their reaction because I kept on asking them, how do I go about it if I do not have my purchase invoice? And they, they told me point blank that there's nothing, no way you're going, to get your, uh, you're going to get your papers done or you're going to register your car here if you do not have your tax invoice. So this time I did a little bit of research. I went through blogs, I went through the RTO website. There I found the Karnataka Motor Vehicle Act where it was plainly mentioned that for cars registered prior to April 2007 need not furnish their tax invoice. I took the printout of the, uh, the act and I went back to the RTO office where I met with the same kind of uh, response saying that we could not help you. This time I went and met the deputy commissioner. I had to wait an hour but I, finally I ended up meeting him and he was surprised that such a clause actually existed and such a problem can uh, arise out of it. He called the superintendent and there was a one hour long discussion that uh, we had and finally he instructed the superintendent to find out what the MRP of the car is, uh, was in the year 1997 and give me the tax final figure what I need to pay. Even in that, I found out that they had charged me the wrong amount of tax. They had overcharged me in fact and I again went back to them and I asked them, I mean, I went with the proof saying that it has to be a lower. It was a 4% margin which was quite a huge amount. The thing that really helped me through all of this was the bit of research that I did from my end and also the persistent belief not to pay a bribe.